right, general approach on the engine compartment. Start with the amber lights on the clearance markers and the amber turn signal light. Probably a mile secure, not missing any screws, not cracked or broken, and they were working. Checking the headlights, properly mounted secure, not cracked or broken, they're clean, they're clear, properly aligned. There's no fluids drained out, leaking underneath the engine. Mirrors are properly mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, not cracked or broken. Hood's already been unlatched, you now open the hood. Clear. Start with the general observation of hoses. We know my upper radiator hose, my lower radiator hose, so my coolant lines and heater lines. They are properly mounted secure on both ends, not missing any nuts or bolts, not missing any hose clamps, rubber parts, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. Metal parts are not cracked or broken, and there are no leaks. The coolant reservoir is properly mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, it's not cracked or broken. It is filled to the proper level between the end and the full. The cap is on securely. The water pump is properly mounted secure. It's not missing nuts or bolts. It's not cracked, broken, or leaking. This is a belt driven water pump. The belt itself is properly mounted secure. Not missing nuts or bolts. It's not cut, frayed, or torn. There's no more than three quarter inch movement on the belt. That's it for that side. Scanning the engine, first thing I come to is my power steering coolant reservoir. It is properly mounted secure, it's not missing any nuts or bolts, it's not cracked or broken, it's not leaking, it is filled to the proper level between the cold and hot, the cap is on securely. All the hoses for the power steering system, some of them are metal, some are rubber, they're all properly mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts or hose clamps. The rubber parts, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. The metal parts are not cracked or broken. They are not leaking. This is the belt driven alternator. It's properly mounted and secure. Not missing any nuts or bolts. It's not cracked or broken. There's no exposed or frayed wires. The belt's properly mounted and secure. Not missing any nuts or bolts. Not cut, frayed, or torn. And there is no more than three quarter inch deflection on the belt. You need to check the oil, make sure it's at the proper level between the add and the full to ensure we have proper level. We don't need to do the steering column or U-joint anymore. Power steering gearbox, proper mouse secure, not missing any nuts bolts, not cracked, broken, not leaking. I want to check my frame, as far as I can see both directions, proper mouse secure, not missing any nuts bolts, not cracked or broken. It needs to flex, so I'm checking that there's no welds and no holes have been cut or torched into it. Now I'll do my suspension, the front and rear spring mount, or you can call them spring mount and spring hanger. Properly mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, not cracked or broken. The spring itself, properly mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, it's not cracked or broken. Uh, it's not shifted, uh, this is a single spring, it's not a leaf spring. U-bolts, two of them, properly mounted secure, not cracked, broken or missing. I'm going to make sure all four nuts are in place on the bottom. I'm going to check my shock absorber, properly mounted secure both top and bottom. It's not missing any nuts or bolts, it's not cracked or broken, and it's not leaking. I'm going to do my power, or excuse me, I'm going to do my steering linkage. Pitman arm, drag link. This is the upper steering knuckle. This is a tie rod, and on the other end it connects to the lower steering knuckle. Probably mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, not cracked or broken. I'm going to check that all three caps and nuts are in place. Probably mounted secure, not cracked, broken, missing. They have the king pin, in, or excuse me, the cotter pin in place. There's three of them here and at each steering knuckle. Brake hose, probably mounted secure on both ends. No abrasions, bulges, or cuts. No audible air leaks. Brake chamber, probably mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, not cracked, broken, or dented, no audible air leaks. This is a slack adjuster and push rod, probably mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, the pin or the cotter pin. It's not cracked or broken. When the brakes are released, there's no more than one inch movement. This is my brake shoe or brake lining, probably mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, it's not cracked or broken. 
There's a minimum thickness of one quarter inch friction material, no grease or oil present. The brake drum itself, prop mount is cured, not missing any nuts, bolts, not cracked or broken. There is no holes, no welds, no grease or oil. Now before I do the tire, I don't want to forget my two items that are hard to see. You point back in this cavity and look back here. This is where my gear driven air compressor is going to be, as well as the gear driven power steering pump. They're on the side of the engine, roughly below where the driving position's at. Air compressor, probably mild secure, not missing any nuts and bolts, not cracked or broken, no oil air leaks. Power steering pump, probably mild secure, not missing any nuts and bolts, not cracked or broken, no leaks. Now, going to do my tire. All three sides of my tire, no abrasions, bulges, or cuts, no oil air leaks. I'm going to check the tread to see that it's evenly worn. Steer tire is a minimum thickness of 4 30 seconds of an inch. Check with the tire tread depth gauge. I want to check to make sure there's no loose or separating treads. When I see the sidewall, it reminds me to check my inflations to the manufacturer specs. I'll check that at my valve stem, which is properly mounted secure. It's not missing the nut. It's not cracked or broken. There's no audible air leaks, and the cap's in place. I'm going to check my rim, properly mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, not cracked or broken. The only holes or welds are by the manufacturer. The lug nuts, properly mounted secure, not cracked, broken, or missing. I'm looking for looseness or cross threading. So that'd be silver threads or rust streaks on steel, powder streaks on aluminum. Hub oiler, properly mounted secure, not missing any nuts or bolts, not cracked, broken, not leaking. It's filled to proper level and the cap's on securely. And that completes the engine.